I'm Ben. Hi, I'm Louis. And, and we're, we're from Tropical Club, Club Magazine. Magazine. So in this video, we'll be visiting Amoy Street Food Center because it has the most stores on the Michelin Beat command list. But before we head in, do remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get the latest scoop. Built in 1938, this culinary institution has served the ever-changing lunch crowd as the area transformed from bustling rows of shop houses to the towering skyscrapers of the day. Let's start the noodle story. We are actually a constant location for food bloggers in Singapore, combining Hong Kong wonton noodles with Japanese ramen. But their chance is that they are special beef, so they actually uh, sweet beef in first, and then they likely uh, simmer it over wood, and then they add like heavy uh, and uh, garlic chip on it. So like to ensure the quality of fish dish right, they only sell like 200 bowls a day. So if you are planning to come and order, you must come early because their lunch will always go up by 1.5 and for dinner by 7 p.m. before go out. Alright, let's go and order. So the light of the trend is thought of doing something similar but yet a bit different later. So we created this Singapore star market, basically one part of us, some different from the next market. So we don't move it on those things that we Because our 10 years back, our first thing to offer are this amazing one part of the first So the taste of the I uh, you know, very peaceful for the people of the people. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's awesome. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Thank they are a constant fixture for food bloggers in Singapore, known for combining Hong Kong-style wonton noodles with the Japanese ramen. But the distinctive method for preparing their char siu is something to really take note. They actually sous vide the pot for 36 hours, then they lightly smoke it in wood chips, before finishing it with a homemade sambal and hebi, or dried shrimp. According to the Michelin Guide, they only serve a maximum of 200 bowls a day, so they ensure quality in every bowl they serve. Now we are going to try this dry dollars with the Chinese from New York Story. Mm. The noodles are actually very sticky. Here we go. I have a stallion that's really good. It makes the whole beef very flavorful. Now it's my turn. It's like this very unique fusion of like Japanese like flavor, the bit of like yeah. And then also, but the Hong Kong, big part of Hong Kong, the like, you know, like the Hong Kong kind of flavor. Yeah. So also it's like a very very interesting like uh, like two different two very different flavors that come together and it comes together very nice. Each bowl of noodles start from nine dollars onwards. Next up, the monkey beef noodles. So they've been operating for 60 years, but actually they started at Cork Street, and then they moved to Traffic Centre, then before moving into Amoy Street Centre. You might expect the soup to be actually thick and heavy, but actually it's actually pretty light, although it's light, light but the soup is still packed with flavour. Yeah, that's because they simmer the beef soup for 24 hours, so you can get tender and succulent beef slices. Honky Beef Noodles has been operating for over 60 years. They started at Cork Street and then moved to Capri Centre before settling at the Amoy Street Food Centre. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah. 
，哇，那这个很很多很多风的嘛。Well, you might expect the soup to be the thick, heavy kind, but it's not. While the broth may be on the lighter side, it's still packed full of flavor. That's because they simmer the beef bones and meat. For over 24 hours, that way you get to have tender, succulent beef slices too. The lady proprietor of Hongki Beef Noodles is a second generation running this Michelin Beef Command stall at Amoy Street Food Center. Not only has she mastered the flavorful broth, the dry version of their beef noodles with thick dark gravy with pickles on top is definitely one not to be missed as well. I will definitely come back for more. The soup is actually very strong, but not over flavorful, and the beef is actually perfectly cooked with the fish sauce. So it is. A bowl of beef noodles starts from six dollars onwards. Our next stop in the Michelin Beef Command list is DJ Two Famous Crispy Curry Puff. The owner told the Michelin Guide that the temperature of the oil must be perfect to get that lustrous shade of gold, and that the puff can't be left in the oil for too long. Few know that the owner of J2 Famous Crispy Curry Puff used to run a bakery with his wife Wu Jinghua, but that business soon shuttered as the spike in production costs saw every decreasing profit margins. In 2007, Lee and his wife opened J2 Famous Crispy Curry Puff at Amoy Street Food Center. Selling crispy curry puff generously stuffed with a variety of fillings, from curry potatoes and sardines to yam and black pepper chicken. Today, the long queue at his store and recognition from the Michelin Guide is a sure sign that his greed has paid off. <laughs> So let's try. Yeah. <laughs> so this was a uh, curry chicken, is it? Well, it's lovely. Um, the potato is so much, but it's not so spicy, but the potato is very good. I think what mine is. Hmm, that's taro. I never see taro curry before. This is top thing. I love it. So it's that it's actually very sweet, and it's it's not the overly strong kind. You can still taste the yam and the taro and everything. And yeah, and it's also very hot. Like the hot also feels like the gravy is not like they don't like heat up. Yeah. So we already finished our taro flavor one as well as the chicken curry flavor one. So now we have two left: uh, the black pepper, uh, black pepper chicken, and the sardine curry. So yeah, uh, let's try. Let's try. I think this one is like bigger than the oil for one bowl. Like, I think. yeah, it looks like. Mm. 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 It's nice, but I think they put too much salt. Yeah, you can see so much. There's a lot of liquid inside. Yeah, so actually it makes the whole curry puff up. not not as crispy as it should be. Mm. And then for my sardine one, I feel like um the oil pot one was better for the sardine one, the sardine curry because. I feel like this one, it feels like those um, tin, those hand sardine one. The old apple one 
feels like it's more fragrant. I don't know, maybe they homemade it or not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just, I don't know. Oh, maybe no. it's just me. <laughs> okay, no, no hate right here. <laughs> I love all hawker food. <laughs> just give but yeah, I think, but, but I still prefer the oil. So that's all for guys with the Amon Street Food Center Michelin D Command Guide. Yeah, so actually there's one more store that we want to try, it's the Hookie Rice Dumpling. Uh, but they were closed today and they didn't leave out, leave out any notice, so I'm not sure what happened. Yeah. So meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.